He'll start to do that like three times, I think. Oop, there's one. Like right here. Oh, he was just roaring. Oh, I didn't go through him. What is going on, my bloody brothers and sisters? Welcome back to V Rising Gloom Rot. We're going to start off today with a little Plague Rat, followed by Clive. And then if we have time or if we don't get a merciless weapon, I've got all of my copper coins on us. <clears throat> and I'm going to take these over to... It was right here? No, nope, right here? No. Nope. Here. To that shady merchant camp way over yonder. And we're going to go get a merciless sword. <clears throat> so that'll be the play. Let's toss in this. And then I'm going to wait the five seconds to see if it'll start the recipe. I don't think it will. I think it's going to try and make a regular rat first. We should could reorganize the priorities here, but there we go. So we'll get the putrid rat out here in just about half a minute. Just grab these rats here, put them away. I put a chest. I moved the chest that we had all the equipment in that was right here, just over here for blood and rats. How's this doing? Great. Here it comes. Here it comes. He's a pretty easy going boss. Oh, I missed my shot. Oh, I thought I was going to get the hit. Get some skeletons here to help us out. It's perfect time. And he's down. I'm at the house, so that's why I wasn't worrying about trying to not take damage. I just wanted to make this fight as fast as possible. But there's a little putrid rat for us with a new recipe they've put in the game. And of course, no drops except a bunch of rats. Ugh, damn rats in the house. Those rats away. And yeah, there's really nothing else going on over here. I'm just going to go put these bones in here just to keep the rats coming. Also, we're just going to put one of these salves in here just to clear out the space in my inventory. All right, so we've got salves, copper coins. We're ready. So, we're going to go see our boy Clive. Now we've got rat form. We'll hit the track, but Clive is way over... Nope, not there. Here. This is Clive. So we're going to go... All right, it doesn't even matter because I don't have my portal yet because I don't think I can build one, right? Yeah, I need... Actually, four grave dust. Let me see if we've made that. If we have made four grave dust, I can just teleport in. Not that one. There we go. Yeah, we do. Let's grab some materials here. Where's all the gem dust? It might be in the leatherworking station. Or did I use it all? I could have used it all. Perhaps I did. Oh, it was just in here. I had never taken it out, so I'm not going to crush any more gems for now. Let's just put these away. Thank you. And what else do we need? So, 12 stone bricks and 100 essence. That's not bad. Bricks. Essence. Teleport. We can move this as needed. Put all this away. And our first maiden voyage on the teleport. 
And again, mind you, I put I said in the beginning, but I put in the custom rules that I can teleport with items on us. Like normally the non teleport items like your your ores and bars and stuff like that you can teleport within my server here it's the same thing with our community server as well and with this i just need to head west until we get to the end here maybe i'll look for a couple of or chests along the way we need merciless weapons I just arrived over the area where our boy Clive is hiding. The only thing special about this area is that there are these explosion crates all around here because he also gives you the recipe for these. Ooh, hi. But other than that, there's nothing real crazy about this place. Lots of firebomb guys. There's a little higher level than maybe what you're used to at this point, so it's kind of like your first step up into this range. Just grabbing all the goodies here because why not? Especially flowers. Fire blossoms will come in handy. It's definitely one of the most underrated items in the game is flowers, and that's just because people don't realize you need them until it's a bit late. What are you looking at? Big old fight here, jeez. Too many bombs. Too many bombers. Just gonna feed off of you. Not to eat the blood, but just to get them off my back. Now this is the big problem that a lot of people have is just the telegraph AOEs. You just gotta really pay attention to the ground and not let yourself get too caught up in the enemy attacks. Like I kinda got stuck in a weird spot there between all the, all the guys, but I'm just trying to clear it out fast. So I'm not being too careful, honestly. So this guy's kind of a pain in the butt because he just runs around and throws AOEs. So you might have a little bit of a harder time if you're close range because of stuff like that. But as long as he stays outside of his own radius, he's not so bad. The issue is that like he sometimes stays inside his range, kind of like right there. Come on, big boy. Like, here, I can't really do anything to him. Now, if I had, like, a crossbow on, maybe a different story. But. Get some beach. Oof. Oh, I still got him. That'll end it. Good fight, Clive. Good flight. Flight? Good fight. I like Clive. He's a very fun boss. He's interesting. And he becomes like your intro into like super AoE attacks. Because that's all he knows how to do. Ooh, we just got a merciless copper. Mace. Not the best, but I'll take it. It'll help us get through Act 1. It's good enough. Good enough. I'm still just going to go around. I want to grab all the chests around here and just kind of clean up a little bit. You get back here. Easy feed. And then I'm just going to grab these. And I'm also, I don't, I'm not strong enough to break the sulfur here yet, which is unfortunate because, oh, I am. Oh, the copper weapons can break it. Oh, for some reason I thought copper couldn't break it. I thought I had to have merciless, but that must just be iron. Okay, that's good though. That's good. So now we can grab, harvest up some sulfur here and be good to go for the next phase. You know, it's probably a good idea while we're on this side of the map is to go check out the Fey Walker. So if we go over here, hold on, I got a new spell. Oh yeah, the new dodge. That dodge is super good, but I like the leech on mine right now. Um, if we go to V Blood here, we go to uh, Pelora the Fey Walker. She's a little higher level than us because we don't have our merciless weapon made. However, 
Uh, it should be okay as long as I can kind of get there fast enough. We should have enough time to fight her and stay in daytime. Or stay in nighttime. Fantastic thing about her place is this is where you go to get a bunch of flowers as well. Sort my inventory out here just a bit. Just get rid of a few, few bits of garbage in here we don't really need to keep on us. Okay. Now the whole intent here is to fight... Halora will then harvest the goods after. You are looking for peace. You will find it with me. Good burst. Great burst. She hit me once. Good gained it all back off that leech. Spirits, hear me. Spirits, hear me. Good, there it is. So it's very important to clean these out because they can heal Pelora. So, and of course, if you're playing with friends, bosses scale, so she will summon up more of those little moth things to help heal her if you don't take care of them fast enough. Spirit, hear me. No heals for you. Ah, oh, she disappeared. Be gone. Nope. Not this time. There she is. Hear me. Come on. Thank you. Could have dodged out of it, but I really just wanted to keep hitting a little bit Spirits, of damage. Hear me. Be gone. Just going for the kill. Is low enough that I didn't need to worry about her little ad. And there we go. That's Pelora. She can be a pretty hard boss fight if you don't know the mechanics. Like if you start to ignore the ads, you will suffer. So do not ignore them. Man, we are not getting good luck with these bosses, though. At least we got a merciless weapon, but... But, man, could use a little bit more. Could use some extra things and stuff. But, all right, I'm going to go harvest all the flowers around here, and then we're going to head home and make a merciless weapon. I think we got ourselves a pretty decent harvest here. Everything looks pretty cleaned up. Let's give it a quick sort. Uh, there's some spores. We've got almost two full stacks of blood rose. We've got a little bit of snow flower. We've got some fire blossom. So we're looking super good right now. I believe it takes like 20 blood roses to make a blood rose potion when we get to tier two. So those will be helpful later for sure. But okay, that's another boss down. So I was going to see. I don't think there's a portal near here maybe i'll try and get lucky Let's see if we can get lucky oh my there is Whew. it it took this was not a closed portal i should have just walked home but i found a portal in silver Lake. i was hoping to see a, a different portal but i'll show you on the map here in a second once i get up here i ran quite far through silver light to get here <laughs> look at that i went all the way through and didn't find a portal didn't realize that this was going to be the only portal i ran into but that's okay we've got it unlocked now let's go home <laughs> live and learn so i just want to make a merciless copper copper base real fast not that let's go here merciless research we also got some candlesticks. That's awesome. Simple workbench. Let's make the copper mace first. And then I'm going to need two crude topaz. And I got just that as well. Just slowly start storing everything. Also, I'm going to switch out one of my gem bags, I think. I'm going to switch out a research bag. Oop. 
put all that away. Get that a quick sort. Get this cooking. Get this cooking. Sort that. Throw that in here as well. And I think for now, this chest will work. We'll put these threads in here. Sulfur, I'll put in the other chest. Bones can go in here. Workbench. Sulfur. And then we can top off the wood in our sawmill. Then I think over here, I'm going to throw this glass in. And just put those in there for now until we need them. Now this mercil or the copper weapon should be ready so we can make our merciless. Oh, I need 12 whetstones. Put them away. Plenty. Merciless is all set. Those back. All right, and now we've got a new weapon. I'm gonna keep both on us. But now that'll bu boost us up to 36. And we still got great time going here. So we did unlock the garden foundations, the large growing plots, and a growing pot collection. As well as the recipe for a minor garlic brew resistance, which will come in handy. And the spell Spectral Wolf. All really good stuff. I'll show you guys Spectral Wolf, because I actually really do like that spell. Illusion. I did have a gem on hand for this. That will... The wolf returns to me after the last bounce, healing for 65% of my spell power. So that's awesome. Nice little extra heal there. And with that... Yeah, we're pretty good to go. We're going to go track down. We're going to go do the bear and then we'll do Nicholas the Fallen. So the bear is super far. The bear lives way over here. So it's a good thing we actually have this way gate open. So that's going to be super helpful. Because this is where Keeley is. Okay, come on. And now we're only like 100 meters away. The great news is we are in the midst of a blood moon. So my my blood power will be 20% more powerful. Yep. Blood typing. The boost effects increased by 20% and my move speed's a little higher as well. So that's actually super nice. And I think actually for this boss, instead of the wolf on there, I am going to put the counter on. The counter can be pretty helpful. Gonna be slow swinging with this mace though that's for sure all right baby what do you got for me big old ferocious bear ow didn't think that was gonna hit the counter is kind of like my last resort to when i think i'm gonna take a hit that i don't want to Ugh. He'll start to do that like three times, I think. Oop, there's one. Like right here. Oh, he was just roaring. Oh, I didn't go through him. He's charging. Okay. Come on, bear. I feel like they've nerfed this bear, because I feel like he used to be so much harder before Gloom Rot. I don't know if it's just because I got used to it or, or what, but he, he used to feel a lot more difficult than what he just was. Taste of knowledge. That's okay. Ferocious bear unlocked. That means we've got ourselves bear form now. Yeah, baby beautiful creature now we can go fight the last boss before oh for rugs unlocked 
before the final boss of Act 1, which is the Bandit King. So we will go fight Nicholas the Fallen. And he resides within this forgotten cemetery right here. So actually, since I live really close to it, we'll just go back to this way gate, go home, and then just jump over the edge and get there pretty quickly. While we were on this side of the map, I want to make a pit stop over at the Shady Book Dealer. Because I don't want the mace. I'm not a big fan of the mace. Oh, but he doesn't have the sword for me. Oh, that is super unfortunate. A brew of ferocity? Um, dang. Dang, dang, dang. We'll probably get a ring from Nicholas. I'm not too worried about it. But we can at least grab the boots so we can be full up there. really wanted that sword but I guess I'll just stick with the mace for now I have plenty of space so let's just grab the spear and the axes and I might as well just grab a ring of do I like the spell weaver or the warlock I don't remember grab a ring of the spell weaver just use up some copper coins let's not be hoarders you can also buy like some fish here which is really nice Ooh, the necromancer's miter that would have been pretty sick to have there's also some potions here we can get. Like, I could straight up buy rose brews. But, okay. That's looking good. Actually, you know, I'm pretty close. I might as well just walk to the Forgotten Cemetery from here. He's a pretty easy fight in the daytime because the cemetery is usually clouded in darkness. The fights down here aren't the most interesting. It's just a bunch of skeletons. Just pretty much similar to when we were doing the Plaguebringer. Not Plaguebringer. Uh, Gorse one, the Ravager. They're just mostly coming down through here, getting rid of all the skeleton mages and whatnot. Although I did take some damage there because I was trying to <laughs> I was trying to get the recording back up. Whoopsies. But that's okay. Things to look out for while you're still coming through here is Morning Glory. Let me, ah, Morning Lily, I mean. Not Glory. Making sure you grab those because before you get your farms going, these are the places you have to get them. So while you're here, you might as well pick them up. Save yourself the hassle later. Trust me. Get these. Don't sleep on them. You're going to regret it. All right, I'm just going to clear this bottom half up. I'll meet you up by Nicholas. All right, we are up here. Blood is low. I'm at 0.5 liters. I have a rat on standby just in case I need it, but I'd rather go a bit of the distance here without needing it. What's the luck? So I put on my corruption for this just so I can try and gain a few minions myself and get a little bit of extra wave clear. So like this. Oops, that was like a super bad attack. Up. Ow, what did I get hit by? Was it you? I'm almost out of blood. Hold on. I need to eat this rat. Okay. That's okay. Wait a second. Get a lot of these cleared up here. Grab some free minions. I like doing this fight with a copper sword for sure. Obvious reasons for these creep clears. That heal. Your bones will be mine.
This should finish it right here. Good fight, sir. We just need to clear, it, clear his creep up here. All right, not bad. So you'll have a much easier job doing this if you have a sword, because you can really get some wave clear with that, but that's okay. Take our Nicholas blood. And he did give us a Ring of the Dusk Watcher, which is a good thing it wasn't the same as our Spellweaver ring, because I bought that one. But that's good timing. Great, great timing. But brothers and sisters, if you're loving V Rising, make sure you're hitting that like button down below. Double checking to make sure you're subscribed, because next we will be fighting Quincy. Look at that, that unlocks the paper press now. We will be fighting Quincy the Bandit King. And that'll bring us into Act Two. And with Act Two means a new home, which I'm thinking maybe I'll kind of live in the center of the map. Maybe this spot here. This actually looks like a pretty neat spot. Or maybe something even over here. This is actually pretty nice. I might like, I might live here. Iron Mines, Quartz Quarry. Yeah, maybe over there. If you got any comments about where you'd like to live, make sure you leave that down below. But otherwise, until next time, my bloody brothers and sisters, I hope the rest of the day is not too shabby.